Twins hosting the Rangers, and the Rangers are plus 110. On the money line, the Twins are minus 130. Over-under is 8.5 runs. The Rangers getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 178, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you'd win. they lose this game by one run, you would win. The Twins laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 150, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win this game by a minimum of two runs. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow. I suggest you use a site like VegasInsider.com. It's not a paid promo, just a totally free website, and it lets you compare all of the casino's odds in one place. Heaney pitched once against the Twins last year as a member of the Dodgers. Four and a third, one run, no earn. They won that game 7-2 to two in Minnesota. He struck out five. The Rangers are 5-5 five and five as a team in his last 10 appearances. He's averaging four and a third innings pitched and 4.6 strikeouts per game in those games. They did lose his last game. The over has hit in his last two. The over is 3-2 and two in his last five. The uh, Rangers are 4-1 and one in his last five starts. He's got an ERA of 1.4, and he's averaging four and a third innings pitched. Three earned runs, three strikeouts, 84 pitches. One earned run, one strikeout, 40 pitches. Back-to-back -back games with no earned runs. Excuse me, no earned runs, striking out four, 81 pitches, 11 strikeouts, 80 pitches, three earned runs, three strikeouts, one home run, and 90 pitches. Now, like I said, he pitched once against the Twins last year as a member of the Dodgers and won, and the game before that was in 2015. He pitched against them as a member of the Angels and also won, allowing no earned runs and two earned runs in those two games. Now, for the Twins, Lopez pitched once against the Rangers last year as a member of the Marlins. So both of these guys pitched against the opposing team as a member of their, oppo their old team. Five innings, five runs, five earned. They lost that game 8-0, and he struck out six. The Twins have won his last five, uh, four starts. They are 7-3 and three in his last 10. He's averaging six and a third innings pitched and 7.7 and uh, 7 .7 strikeouts per game in those games. So a strikeout machine. They've won his last four starts. Like I said, the under or the over under is 2-2-1. Two, two, and one. So two games went over, two games went under, and one game pushed in his last five starts. The Twins are 4-1 and one in his last five. He's got an ERA of .6, and he's averaging six and a third innings pitched. His last three outings, no earned runs, seven strikeouts, seven strikeouts, and eight strikeouts. 99 pitches, 92 pitches, and 96 pitches. Then one earned run, five strikeouts, 94 pitches, and then two earned runs, eight strikeouts, two home runs, and 94 pitches. So his two runs that he gave up were two solo home runs. And the last game that he pitched against the Rangers was the game he pitched against them as a member of the Marlins. Head-to-head, -head, the road team's on a three-game winning streak. The road team is 7-3. and three. The Rangers are on a three-game winning streak against the Twins. The underdog is on a three-game winning streak. These teams are 5-5 five and five against each other in their last 10 meetings. The underdog is 6-4 and four on the money line. The underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 7-3. and three. There have been six one-run games in their last 10, including four out of their last five games that they've played against each other. The under has hit in their last four games. The under is 6-4 and four in their last 10. And the under 8.5 runs, also 6-4 and four in their last 10. The last series that they played was a three-game set. Uh, was a four-game set, actually, in Minnesota. The Twins won the first one, 2-1. to one. Then the Rangers won the next three, 4-3, four, 7-0, three, and 2-1. to one. The Rangers are 3-7 and seven in their last 10, and they are on a 2-4-6 game losing streak. The over-under is 5-5 five and five in their last 10. Losing 6-1 to one to the Brewers, 6-2 to two to the Brewers, 4-3 to three to the D-backs, and 6-3 to three to the D-backs. For the Twins... They are 5-5 five and five in their last 10, 2-2 two and two in their last 4, and the under is 5-4-1 and one in their last 10 games, beating the Pirates 5-1, then losing 7-4 to them, then beating them 2-0, and then losing 7-3 to the Brewers. I'm going to take the Twins with the money line. I'm going to take the Twins laying the runs, and I'm going to go under in this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.